IRS is now sending $2,000 stimulus checks for all low-income seniors across the nation. They are now sending these much-needed direct deposits to all seniors today. Today, we've got some exciting news to share regarding the 2021 coronavirus stimulus checks. You won't believe this, but millions of Americans may still be eligible to claim their payments. That's right, even though we thought the stimulus saga was over, there's more to it than meets the eye. All these much-needed stimulus-related news are right here on our channel, so make sure to stick around till the end to find which states are sending stimulus checks. Hello everyone, welcome back with another video from Money Pro. This is your fourth stimulus check update and daily news report. I hope you all having a wonderful day. Now, as we all know, the U.S. government rolled out a total of three rounds of stimulus checks to help ease the economic strain caused by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. In all, a staggering $930 billion was distributed directly to Americans in the form of economic impact payments. These payments were a lifeline for many during these tough times. But here's the kicker. Millions of people haven't yet claimed their 2021 coronavirus stimulus checks, as revealed by a recent report from the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration, TIGTA. So what's the deal with these unclaimed payments? Well, here's the twist. The stimulus checks were technically advance payments of a fully refundable tax credit called the Recovery Rebate Credit. This credit was up for grabs for both the 2020 and 2021 tax years. Those who didn't receive their coronavirus stimulus checks initially could have claimed them when filing their tax returns in 2021 and 2022. However, it turns out that many folks didn't take advantage of this opportunity. A review of 2021 tax returns by TIGTA, the watchdog organization overseeing the IRS, found that approximately 3 million people may not have claimed their credits. Shockingly, there's a hopping $4.7 billion in unclaimed recovery rebate credits out there. The report states, TAGTA's review of tax year 2021 tax returns identified nearly 3 million individuals who are potentially eligible for $4.7 billion in recovery rebate credits but have not claimed them. Now, here's the exciting part. If you're one of those who didn't receive the full amount of your 2021 coronavirus stimulus check or didn't receive one at all, you still have a golden opportunity. You can claim it by filing or amending your 2021 tax return. The good news is that taxpayers generally have three years from the time they filed their return to claim a credit or refund. So time isn't running out just yet. But who's eligible to claim this money? According to the report, about 2.9 million individual taxpayers didn't claim the recovery rebate credit with their 2021 tax return, and these individuals may very well be eligible for the 2021 coronavirus stimulus check. Eligibility is quite similar to the third stimulus payment, which was based on an individual's 2019 or 2020 tax details. Individual taxpayers can get up to $1,400, while married couples could receive up to $2,800. And if you have qualifying dependents, you can get an additional $1,400 for each of them. So how can you go about claiming your 2021 coronavirus stimulus check? Well, you need to file a tax return for that year to claim the recovery rebate credit. This applies to non-filers too, so nobody is left out. The IRS has been making efforts to inform eligible individuals about this opportunity, and TIGTA has recommended that these efforts be further intensified to reach everyone who's still in the dark. First up, let's talk about Alabama. The heart of Dixie is expected to start sending out tax rebates very soon, and this time, it's all about offsetting those pesky grocery taxes. They're offering a one-time tax rebate of $150 for individuals and a sweet $300 for couples. That's some much-needed financial relief for around 2 million Alabama residents who filed their 2021 tax returns. So how do you get your hands on this money? Well, if the Department of Revenue has your bank info, you'll receive a direct deposit. If not, no worries, they'll mail you a check. Alabama's got a surplus in its Education Trust Fund thanks to those grocery taxes, and these rebates are designed to give residents a break while still contributing to the state's future. What's fantastic about this is that it's not a one-time deal. Even though these rebates are a one-time tax credit, residents will enjoy lower taxes moving forward. 
The legislation is pretty clear. The Department of Revenue can't start dishing out these rebates until November 30. With a surplus of $2.8 billion, Alabama slashed its grocery sales tax from 4% to 3% on September 1. There's even talk of lowering it to 2% next year. So, if you're an Alabama taxpayer, stay tuned for those rebates. Now let's jet over to the Grand Canyon State, Arizona, where taxpayers with dependents are in for a treat. Arizona's tax rebates will start flowing by November 15, and it's all about supporting families during these times of inflation. Families with kids under 17 will receive $250 per dependent, up to a maximum of $750 for three dependents. If you've got older dependents, don't worry, you're not left out. You'll get a cool $100 per dependent. Around 750,000 taxpayers who filed their 2021 tax returns will be the lucky recipients of these rebates. However, there's a catch. You need to have claimed a specific credit on your return for that year. The state will deliver the money directly to your bank account or send you a check. So if you're in Arizona and filed your 2021 taxes with this credit, be prepared to see some extra cash in your account soon. That's the end of today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos.